Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. P and Q are two moons of equal densities orbiting a planet. The orbital radius of P is twice that of Q. Okay, the orbital radius of P is twice. And the volume of P is half. Okay, let us first of all draw the diagram. Let us say this is the planet and uh, these are the two orbits. So this is one planet, one satellite, this is another satellite. So I'm naming it P and I'm naming it Q because they are saying that the orbital radius of P is twice that of the Q. So the orbital radius means this and we are going to measure the distances with respect to the center of the astronomical bodies only. So from center to center, these distances are and from center to center, again, these distances are. The distance between two orbits is coming out to be R. Now, the volume of P is half that of Q. So if um, the volume of uh, P is taken as V, so the volume of Q will become double. Okay. The force exerted by the planet P is F. So let us first of all find what is the force that is exerted on the satellite P by the planet. So I know that the force, uh, the formula is given by G, universal a gravitation constant multiplied by the mass of planet that is capital M and now the mass of the planet P. So now we are not talking about talking in the terms of mass but in the terms of volume multiplied by density. Why? Because the planets have the satellites have equal densities. So we have to convert this mass into density. So the volume of P is taken to be V and density is taken to be rho and the radius is 2R. So this should be the force that is being exerted on P. And what about the force that is exerted on Q? So let us first create the expression and then we will compare. So it will be G into M into the mass of Q. Now the volume is double that is 2V. So the volume is 2V into density rho divided by and now the radius will be taken as R instead of 2R. So this is the force exerted on Q and that one is the force exerted on P. So we need to find the ratio because this is now equal to F. So you can write it as G M V rho 4 times R square. Now the force on Q can be written as G M V rho upon R square multiplied by 2. So I'm just taking this thing as a common. I have created this as a common factor. So this common factor altogether can be substituted as 4F into this equation. So this will be 4 into FP into 2. So it is coming out to be 8 times. So if the force on P is F, the force on Q is coming out to be 8 times the total force. I hope you understand what I have done here. From here, because this is the common factor, that is why I have found the value of this complete factor in the terms of F, so that I am able to substitute this common factor in the terms of F, so that I am able to find the answer in the terms of F. So this is how we do it, my dear students. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.